All right, guys. Today's video, I have right here a uh, Droid Incredible, uh, Verizon Droid Incredible, and let me just show you guys what I'm running on this thing right now, so you guys are all on on, on par with me. This is going to be a video on how to unlock H boot, so you have basically an unlock bootloader. So uh, right here it says about phone, and I'm going to go to software information, and just show you right here that I'm running Android 4.0. Uh, 3.4 which is gingerbread and we're on the latest build which is software number 4.08.605.2 um, so you're on this system right here that's what you're running um, I'm gonna go ahead and boot into HBoot and just show you the bootloader version and just show you what we got to work with here so to do that what I always do is pull the back off pull the battery Pull the battery out, put it back in, hold volume down, hold power, and your device will boot into HBoot. So there we go. Um, let me get a better view on this for you. Okay, so what we got right here is this is HBoot, and it tells you right here that uh, right here up on the top, mine actually says in pink right there, it actually says relocked. Um, normally, if you haven't unlocked your bootloader, it'll just say locked. Um, and then when you unlock it, it'll say unlocked right up there in the pink. Um, but mine says relocked because I unlocked it and then locked it again. Hence, relocked. Uh, you can also see your HBoot number. Mine is 1.07, which is the newest HBoot for the Droid Incredible. Um, so, this is what you're going to see right here. Uh, and this is what I'm on right now. The reason this bar on the side is running here in the blue is because I have an update file on here. And it's looking at it and checking it. Um, you're probably not going to have that file on there, so you're not going to see this. But you're going to see uh, what you see when this is done. So let me show you guys that. So this is a screen you guys are actually going to see right here. It has a couple options which you select with your volume up and down, then you select it with power. And the options are fast boot, recovery, clear storage, sim lock, and factory reset. Um, so anyway, so this is what your H boot should look like. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to unlock this. So let's go over to my computer. And uh, I'm actually going to leave this in HBoot mode. You might as well if you're going to do this. Um, and you've met all the prerequisites. I'm going to show you on my computer. You're going to need the drivers and a bunch of stuff. So let's go over to the computer and check this out. Okay, so here we go. This is what you guys are going to need to go to right up here, which is www.htcdev.com. And you're going to need this to unlock the bootloader. So this is bootloader instructions right here. And it tells you to be on that system version and some things to turn on like USB debugging and whatnot. So go here. You're going to have to sign in, create an account. Uh, you can see me right up in here, my account right there. And um, do that. You're going to need to download right here. This is the, if I can get it, it won't highlight, but this right here is the HTC Sync for Windows. You'll need that. Um, this says Android SDK Zip. You're actually not going to need this right here to do this. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a file attached in the video description to set up what you need for this. It's a lot easier to do. Um, and then it just sets up ADB window for you guys. And then just Java environment, I don't think you're going to need either. For what the way we're running things so you're going to just skip through all these things go to next step okay so here's the next thing to unlock your bootloader these are the directions you're going to need to do so what you're going to need to do is go into adb which i actually created a window which is right here so what this is i'm going to give you these four files in a zip and you're just going to extract it and then open up the file that is extracted and you're going to see these four files right here okay so all we're going to do once we're in this window once you extract the zip I'm going to give you in my file video description, um, you're just going to go ahead and hit uh, Shift, hold Shift, and then right click in this window and say open command window here. And now you have a command window. See mine is under C, A, D, B, and that's where all of these files are located for me. It doesn't matter where yours says as long as it's wherever those files are located. So first thing we're going to do, you've got the files you needed, everything, drivers installed, all that kind of stuff. Your phone is in that H boot mode right here. We're going to go ahead and connect this to our computer. 
with our USB cable. Voila. Connect it up. And then the very first option says fast boot. It's in blue. Just hit power and it's going to um, go into fast boot mode. Uh, right now I have other drivers installing so I'm going to wait until they install. And they are. So now we're just going to go ahead and on this screen it says fast boot right in the top in blue or right by my thumb there and just hit power and it will boot into fast boot mode and you can set this down drivers may install when this does this so give it a little before you start any of these commands so set this thing down it's in fast boot mode so we're in fast boot mode on our device so first thing we're going to do to make sure our device is, is seen by the computer is we're going to type in fast boot devices and it comes back with a number and it says fast boot. That means that the computer is seeing our device that's plugged in. And that's a good sign. That means that when you run the next command, it's going to function correctly. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up right here in the, in the steps you're getting from htcdev.com. And it says to put in this right here. Fast boot, OEM, get token, identif get identifier token. So you're going to copy this whole thing except for the period. Going to get back into your command window and just paste it in there. And it's going to spit out some information. So you're going to hit enter. And it gives you this. This is the identifier token. So then what you're going to do is you want to copy from right here. Say mark. And then scroll all that down. So you don't want to copy the info. But you want to get all these numbers down to where it says identifier token start, identifier token end. All that information you want to have on, on there. And then you're going to go uh, shift, I think it's shift C. And paste it in. And then you're just going to go down here to the bottom and hit submit. And it's going to send you an email with an unlock bin. So you'll go to your Gmail or wherever you tell it to send it to, and you're going to come out with, let me show you what it's going to look like here. It's going to look like this. You're going to have an unlock-code.bin file that they're going to send you in an email. So once you download that from your email, and you paste it into your ADB folder that we've been running these fastboot commands from, and we ran this window from, okay? you're going to type in the next command. And the next command is going to be this right here. Um, do, 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 right here, this one right here, guys. This is going to be the next command. So you're going to highlight it. And this will be in the directions from your email. Copy it. And it's fast boot flash unlock token unlock code bin. So it's going to actually flash that file that's in your ADB folder right here that you just pasted there from your email and it's going to flash it to the device to unlock it so basically we're going to go ahead and do that and paste there's the command and hit enter okay so everything went successfully let me show you guys the device so right here is the device and then all you're going to do is scroll up with the volume so it highlights yes and then hit power and there you go that is going to unlock the bootloader now from what I understand um, everything goes really smoothly with this it just goes ahead and unlocks your device and then what we're going to do is we're going to boot back into HBoot and I'm going to show you where it says unlocked so at this point you can actually unplug your cable from your computer which is fine let this thing boot up and we'll come back to it. You can close all your programs on your computer. Um, everything else should be done. I'm going to show you that we're unlocked. And then once you're unlocked, keep watching some of my other videos because I'm going to really have a lot of great information on how to root this device, how to install custom recovery, custom ROMs, all kinds of goodies like that. Um, but this is the first step is to go ahead and unlock your bootloader. So in HBoot, you have an unlocked bootloader. Um, so I'm going to let this boot up. I'm going to get back in HBoot, show you the unlocked bootloader, and we'll wrap it up. Alright guys, this thing fully booted back up. Um, obviously, it actually did a factory reset. Because you can see I'm back to uh, select your, your language, just like when you do a normal startup. So this did create a factory reset by doing this unlock. 
So be prepared to lose all your apps data and all that kind of good stuff. You will have all your pictures and things like that. You're not going to lose that information, but it is going to lose out uh, all your apps and passwords and all that kind of goodies. So you have to reset up the phone by doing this unlock. So be aware of that. Also be aware anytime you do any hacking on your device that uh, you make sure you have good battery life before you do anything, rooting, hacking, installing custom ROMs, anything. Make sure you have a full battery charge before you start that process. If it happens to shut down in the middle because your battery dies, it's a bad thing. So um, let's go ahead and I'm just going to pull battery on this thing again. We're going to go back into H-boot, hold volume down, power, and there we go. And let me show you guys. So I hope you guys can see that, but right there at the top it says unlocked in pink. So your bootloader is now unlocked and now we can do some flashing of some uh, custom recoveries and good stuff like that rooting this device. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, that is how to unlock the bootloader on the HTC um, Droid Incredible. And uh, like I said, I'm going to put all the files you guys are going to need in the video description down below. Probably make it a little easier than installing your Java stuff and your SDK. We'll just try to make everything a little bit easier for you guys to do and run. Um, so every file you should need should be down there with drivers and ADB file and fastboot and all that good stuff. Um, but go ahead and go to uh, htcdev.com and do those processes through there. Uh, I'm going to give you a link to that also in the video description. So, hope you guys like this. Hope you guys, uh, was informative for you. As always, check me out right up here on the top at rootjunkie.com. Follow me at Facebook or Twitter right over there. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.